Hello and welcome back to Ray Education. My name is Gary Martin from rggedu.com. Today we're going to be diving into RAID Zero, what it is and how it works. Now in our first video on RAID Education, we explained a little bit about the, the concept and practical uses of what RAID is. It's both a backup and also a disk optimization for speed, or it's a combination of both. Today we're going to be going into RAID Zero and how that is optimized for speed and specifically for us, video editing. Now, as you'll see here on the graph, you'll see that RAID 0 requires an absolute minimum number of drives as two. They can come higher than two, but the very minimum you're gonna need is two. You'll see read performance and write performance are both gonna be super high on RAID 0. This is going to be the fastest. And in the first video, we mentioned what striping was. This is a really good example of striping and when a RAID controller will stripe data to across all the drives or all the available drives that it has. You'll notice below that capacity utilization is 100%. So if you have a RAID drive that does RAID 0 and maybe RAID 1, if it's set to RAID 0 and it's a six terabyte drive like you, the one you see here, you will have six terabytes available of data. Now you'll see below this typical applications that you would use RAID 0 with are higher end workstations. You're gonna see this be used and video editing, motion graphics, and computers that are doing a high deal of rendering. So as you'll see here, we have a basket of eggs. If you're going to choose RAID 0, remember that as RAID 0 looks like an egg and all of your eggs are in one basket. You have absolutely no redundancy. You have absolutely no backup. There's zero backup for RAID 0. And the examples that we have on the table are both drives from G Technologies, one being an older model that I've used for a long time and its purposes have changed as technology has evolved um, to this guy. So a little bit about how this drive works is there are two drives inside of them. This one being the six terabyte model. There are two three terabyte drives in them. They're enterprise drives. They're incredibly fast. And probably the most important thing about this drive and this enclosure itself is that it is Thunderbolt 2. So Apple first came out with Thunderbolt 1 at 10 gigabits per second, and then now it's come out with Thunderbolt 2 at 20 gigabits per second, which is essentially twice as fast. And you'll see on the back here, there are two connections for Thunderbolt. So you can daisy chain other drives to Thunderbolt, which is one of the features of Thunderbolt. But more importantly, it is an incredibly fast drive. And again, we're not looking for redundancy whatsoever. If any of these drives fails, not only do we have copies on other drives, but we also have it backed up on a RAID 5 system, and we also have it backed up in the cloud. Now, the other example on the table is one of the first RAID 0 drives that I have ever purchased. It is quite a bit different. This is before Thunderbolt 1 even came out. And as you can see on the back here, it is Firewire 800, if you guys can remember what that is and also USB 2, and then also eSATA, which was a fast connection, but a very uncommon connection that you found in actual Mac computers other than the Mac Pro. So we're going to do a test today to show you the read-write speeds of both of these using a program from Blackmagic Design that is the Blackmagic Speed Test. So let's get these plugged in and see how fast they are. So the first thing that we wanna do is select the target drive. We want to then select our G-RAID. And then we want to also, we'll do a smaller one gigabyte stress test. And then we wanna start the test. All right, so that took a couple minutes to do. And that was just at the one gigabyte stress test. So as you see here, so here it looks like Standard definition video is just about the only thing that we're gonna be able to work with using read write off of this drive itself. Now, to compare this to what options we have today on something that's affordable like the G-RAID Studio, we're gonna get that set up and do the exact same test and compare them side by side. All right, we've just wrapped up our disk speed test from Blackmagic Design. Um, we see quite a bit of difference. Um, 67 on our older FireWire 800 to 235 on our write speed for the six terabyte. Uh, we also have 54 to 221. So the difference is pretty big. And you can see there's still quite a bit of room 
to go higher on our RAID 0 systems if we had a RAID 0 with even more drives, more independent disks in the RAID system itself. All right, you've now seen the results from an older drive set to RAID 0 at Firewire 800 as one extreme, and also a faster drive, newer drive uh, from G Technologies that gives you substantially better results. So think about this when you're choosing and kind of understanding why you would need a RAID and what application you're gonna put that in. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Gary Martin with rggedu.com. Tune in next time where we're gonna dive into RAID 1 and its use and application. Oh, shit. <laughs>